Tony Osai is investigating a controversial method for controlling children in our schools. It's called seclusion and restraint. You know, some parents actually call it child abuse, and lawmakers are calling for tighter regulations. Seclusion involves locking a child in a room for as long as two hours. Restraint is a series of holds that staff members use to control a child who's acting out. Federal guidelines say they should be used only as a last resort because they can have dangerous and even deadly consequences. A specialist who worked in Hampton Road schools says seclusion and restraint was commonplace. It became a daily uh, first response or a second response um, tactic used by the teachers and the t teacher's assistants. Now see what happens when we start asking questions about the use of seclusion and restraint. And watch our investigation, Controversial Child Control, this evening at 6, with coverage beginning at 4 p.m.